Concerns about toxic contamination are growing in Ohio after a fiery train wreck earlier this month. Some are complaining about headaches and feeling sick. And the state says more than 3,500 fish have died. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine, we're going to ask him what is being done to help the residents in East Palestine. He's up next. So look at all those dead fish. The state's Department of Natural Resources says 3,500 small fish have died because of the derailment and release of toxic chemicals. Residents are saying that they are getting headaches and sore throats. And tonight, the mayor will hold a town hall to hopefully answer their questions. Remember that this derail train carried several dangerous chemicals. Experts are uh, most concerned about the vinyl chloride. Emergency workers had to vent the tankers, uh, spill the vinyl chloride into the trench, and then burn it off. That chemical can cause dizziness, sleepiness, and headaches. It has been linked to an increased risk of liver, brain, lung, and blood cancer. Some residents have been told to drink bottled water until testing is complete. Even the governor says that's what he would do. Just ahead, more than 3,000 fish have turned up dead in Ohio after that train derailment uh, just under two weeks ago involving a host of toxic chemicals. Folks living in the area have been told the air is safe, they can go home, but they should drink bottled water for the time being. They have plenty of unanswered questions. We're going to try to get some of them answered when the EPA administrator joins us. Goodness, that's not a good sign right there. Is it safe to drink the water this morning, to breathe the air in your home? Those are the questions many in East Palestine, Ohio, are asking. After a train carrying hazardous materials derailed nearly two weeks ago, triggering a temporary evacuation. The EPA told residents it was safe to return home last week. Many, though, tell CNN they are still worried about what may have been left behind. I don't recommend you put anything in the ground. I mean, vegetables or tomatoes or anything this year because it we don't know. We pass all of the creeks and there's crew after crew with white hoses and black hoses all through the creeks. They're not telling us why and this is, go this is daily. I'm driving my children to school past all of this and they're asking me questions that I don't have answers to. The Ohio EPA's on-site coordinator has said he's confident any residual contaminants are being contained. EPA Administrator Michael Regan uh, joining me now. Good to have you with us this morning, sir. So, you know, a lot of questions here. We're going to try to get as many answered for folks at home as possible. What about rivers and streams? Uh, you know, we, we heard from a resident there who says as she drives her kids to school, she sees all of this piping. She sees things happening in the rivers and streams, and she can't get an answer as to what is going on there. Is that testing? You know, we should be able to give an answer. What you're seeing is a government in action. We are testing, we are evaluating, we are inspecting. Uh, listen, we understand the fears that the community have. We also heard a gentleman, and you may have heard him uh, just before we came to you, who said he wouldn't plant anything in the ground for at least a year. He's very concerned about soil contamination. So I've spent some time on the local uh, Ohio EPA website there looking at what's being put up by the on-site uh, the on-site contamination folks. I am not finding in my search information on soil testing. Is the soil being tested? Uh, Erica, it is. And let's just, you know, what we should say up front is we are uh, shifting into the cleanup mode. This morning, what would you say to that gentleman who told us, I wouldn't plant tomatoes for the next year? Would you advise that he do any planting this spring? You know, Eric, I'd be realistic. Uh, this is a fresh sight uh, of a disaster. And so we want to be transparent, Erica. So a couple of other real quick questions before I lose you for timing here. You just said that as the conditions become safe, you'll send in your teams. Are there any areas at this point in time which you believe are still unsafe? OK, well, as we're waiting for that, there are also these questions about some 3,500 fish across 12 different species which have died in the waterways following the train derailment, um, according to Ohio's department, director rather, of the Department of Natural Resources. Are there plans to test those dead fish and also the reported dead chickens and foxes? You know, the, the state is taking the lead on that. We are providing the support to do the test, um, but it's my do you believe So you believe those tests should be done? That, uh, the, the state has the lead on that. They are, they are conducting the investigations to determine the impacts to wildlife, and we will provide as much support to the state as possible. So, but the state has the lead on that. So they have the lead, but have they confirmed to you that they are actually doing that testing? Uh, they have confirmed to us that they are investigating and doing an investigation on the impacts to wildlife. The, okay, the but not the test at this point. In terms of the types of tests, I don't. 
the, the specificity in terms of the types of tests. I don't have that information, but that doesn't mm -hmm. mean the state isn't doing it. 